I now want to help you understand some important concepts in the endpoint management world. So when we think about endpoint management, we're talking about the fact that our cloud service now has the ability to manage uh, endpoints, endpoints being client machines and all of that. So uh, in, this in, in this example, we have a Microsoft domain that is uh, connected to our uh, Microsoft 365 and Azure environment. Um, and one of the ways that we've done that is we've set up a hybrid scenario where we've got this uh, Azure AD Connect server, which uh, Microsoft is in the process of changing that name to Intra ID, uh, and it connects to Intra ID or Azure AD as it's formally called. All right, again, this this transition is happening right now at the creation of this video. Um, so just be aware of that Azure AD Intra ID. The name is changing from Azure AD to Intra ID. But um, anyway, the idea being that we, um, we have machines that are on premise that need to be managed. We need to be able to deploy uh, settings and all of that out. Now we have Microsoft Intune to do that. Uh, Intune is our main endpoint manager in the cloud. All right. One of the things that we've always had to deal with in the past is deploying new machines. So we'd go out and we'd buy new computers and we would have to like re-image those computers. Well, what Microsoft is doing now, what they're telling everybody now is that you really shouldn't re-image computers a whole lot anymore. You should do what is called reprovision these new computers. So let's say we go out and we buy um, I don't know, we'll say like 50 new computers, okay? And the idea is, Microsoft's logic is, these new computers will probably already have Windows on them. In the past, we didn't like the fact that Windows was already installed on these computers because it wasn't configured the way that our company wanted them to be configured. It wasn't configured with the applications we wanted and all that. So what we would do is we'd get the new computers and then we would blow away what's there the, what's on the hard drive and re-image with a, a new copy of Windows with all the apps and stuff that we want. Microsoft's logic now is, hey, don't blow those away, reprovision those. Okay. Um, now you might say, well, when you say blow away, what do you mean? So in the past, what we did, uh, I'm just going to move this over a little bit. What we did, the most common way that, that a lot of companies did, especially bigger companies, is they had a server called a config manager server. The name of this server has gone through a lot of changes over the years. Back in the 90s, it was called SMS. In the early 2000s, it got changed to SCCM, System Center Configuration Manager. Uh, and then eventually, and a lot of people still don't even know this to this day, even though this happened back in 2019, the end of 2019, early 2020, they changed the name from SCCM to Endpoint Configuration Manager, also known as MECM, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Most people just call this Config Manager, okay, nowadays. But you'll still hear a lot of people call it SCCM. This server, this Config Manager server, has the ability to essentially um, support uh, uh, re-imaging of your machines in uh, an automated format. So I could actually tell, we could buy a bunch of new machines and I could basically uh, tell this machine, I can automate the process of re-imaging all these new machines with Windows on it and all of that. Um, so that's sort of considered the old way of doing things. We'd use a config manager server. We'd have to license that product and, uh, and do that. What my, and, and what Microsoft is now saying is that you really shouldn't be doing a lot of re-imaging. Re you should do what's called reprovisioning, which is where you buy these new machines and you have Intune uh, reprovision these machines. So if you don't like the way Windows is set up, you can have Intune uh, connect to, you have these machines connect to Intune, and Intune will set them up the way you want. It'll deploy the apps you need, it'll reconfigure the settings on the machine the way you want, it'll do everything instead of you re-imaging, and this is a lot quicker. Of course, one of the big complaints about that whole idea is that, you know, I have to buy these new machines, with Config Manager, I used to be able to just, hey, when these new machines boot up, just re-image them. You could tell Config Manager to do that, and it would do it unattended. It would just fix, it would just re-image, and it was great. Well, what Microsoft now has is they have what's called Autopilot. Autopilot is an extremely powerful feature that we get with uh, Intune. 
It's supported by Intune. And with Autopilot, um, what we can do is we can actually buy these new machines uh, and when they boot up, they will just magically connect to Intune's Autopilot and Intune's uh, Autopilot servers will help with reprovisioning these machines putting the apps and stuff on it and all that. Now you might say, well, how is that possible? It's possible because every computer has a unique GUID number, globally unique identifier number, uh, known as a hardware ID. When you buy these new machines, they come with hardware, hardware IDs. You can put these numeric values in a spreadsheet and then you can upload the spreadsheet to the autopilot service in Intune. So as soon as these computers get an internet connection, they can connect. You can tell the autopilot service what these new machines should have, what apps they should have, what updates they should have, and it'll take care of all of it. And this is considered a better way to do it than the old way, which was to use Config Manager. Now, you might say, well, what if I uh, already have Config Manager in our environment? Because Config Manager does a lot more than just imaging. I'm not going to dive deep into that right now, but Config Manager is a very powerful type of uh, server you can set up in your environment. Although I will tell you that Intune is now more and more starting to support most everything Config Manager can do. So Intune is sort of the replacement as far as cloud management goes from Config Manager. But you might say, well, can we make these two work together in harmony? Yes, you can. So one of the things you can do with Config Manager is you can do what's called tenant attach. Tenant attach means you can go into Config Manager and you can link Config Manager to your uh, Azure environment, Microsoft 365 environment with Intra ID. You can do tenant attach. This will link it with Intune. Now when that happens, when tenant attach occurs, we support a feature called co-management, which um, I, apparently I can't spell, but there it is, co-management. Co-management is supported by Windows 10 and higher. Okay, so those are the only operating systems that supports. It does not support uh, Linux and Macintosh and all that. What it is, co-management is really mostly beneficial for laptops. So the idea being that, let's say I've got some laptop, a laptop here, all right, and it's running the Windows operating system. And the cool thing about it is when the laptop is in the office, Config Manager will manage the settings for that laptop. But as soon as the laptop leaves the office, Intune manages the, uh, the device. So that's what co-management is. Co-management means that you have, um, you know, when the device is on premise, Config Manager will manage it. When it's in the cloud, Intune can manage it. Now, can Intune manage devices that are on premise? Absolutely. Nowadays, a lot of companies are getting rid of, and it's, it's hard for me to say this because I am a big fan of Config Manager. I've taught it for years, back when it was SCCM and all of that. I love Config Manager, but Microsoft, again, they're now adding more and more support for Intune to basically handle everything that you would have handled with Config Manager, most everything. There's still things Config Manager can do that uh, Intune can't do, but for the most part, um, they're starting to add all the features into Intune that we would have back in Config Manager. So a, a lot of people are starting to get rid of Config Manager and just do everything through Intune because this is where all the cutting edge support is. All right, those are the fundamental things I wanted to get across to you in this video. The first was to help you understand the idea of autopilot. Okay, autopilot allows for uh, Intune to reprovision machines instead of re-image machines. Okay, I wanted to explain um, the idea of tenant attached with Config Manager, which is to link your Config Manager into your uh, Microsoft 365 tenant. And then finally, uh, I wanted to explain the concept of code management. So hopefully you have a much better understanding of those topics now. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.